So, VRML. This is so crazy. I'm so excited about what we're doing. Um, the story of how we got here. My wife Marina and I, we were living in Boston at the time, thinking about moving to San Francisco. Go west, explore. We were at a party and we were introduced to this guy named Mark Pesci. Uh, he was a computer guy, so our friends thought that he and I would get along. And he was working in virtual reality. I'd already heard about VR. I'd read Snow Crash, and Neuromancer, and as it turns out, Marina actually put together an event at her art school where Jaron Lanier came and showed his VPL system, a big head-mounted display showing these crude virtual worlds with flying crustaceans. It was totally kooky, but at the same time, it was pretty compelling. Um, but, you know, to be honest, I didn't give it much thought for a while. Then uh, about six months later, we moved to San Francisco and looking for new friends, we got in touch with Mark. As luck would have it, Mark lived about six minutes away walking. Uh, so he came over to visit us, made the climb up Dubot Street uh, to our place in Buena Vista Park. And he hung out with us and uh, watched us unpack over beers. And so I asked him, hey, Mark, what is it you do with virtual reality again? And then Mark leaned in in these ominous tones and said, I'm building a 3D interface to the World Wide Web. And I said, oh, you mean like Snow Crash? I'll never forget this. And Mark said, uh, the patience of an adult indulging a small child, or maybe more like an alien indulging his smart human pet. Yeah, like Snow Crash. So we created the RML. It all kind of makes sense. Marina is an expat Russian, so you, know, you come from the Soviet Union, a place that is all artificial reality. Uh, she's also an artist. She's very visceral, very visual. Me, I was a working musician, got out of that life. It's a hard life, and escaped into the safe bosom of a, a day job in computer science. Uh, but I was never really 100% comfortable just doing the technology side, so I always wanted to make sure I, I kept going with something artistic. So I guess VR was bound to happen for us. But for the longest time, Mark was really driving it. I, at the time, I was bored with my day job, looking for a fun project, but Mark was on a mission. Anyway, oh, deep dark secret, by the way. So neither Mark nor I really know that much about graphics. Um, I'm a compiler's geek, and Mark is a networking nerd. So I wrote the code that parsed these simple VRML description files. And Mark wrote the networking code, and then we glued this all together with a software library that could render in 3D. Uh, this company from England called Render Morphix was kind enough, uh, their founders, Servan and Kate, were kind enough to let us have a free license because they knew we had no money. And we used that to build our first prototypes of VRML. Reality Lab could load uh, models in the OBJ file format and render them, so all I had to do was write some basic graphics code to set up the camera and do a few other simple things. Um, and we created our first model with a hyperlink, a banana with a hyperlink that launched a web page. Uh, why a banana? Because that's the free OBJ file we had lying around. Uh, anyway, so, you know, one of these days I guess I should go read that Foley and Van Damme book and really learn something about graphics. Well, I guess the rest is history. Uh, we sent Mark to Geneva for WWW1, the first World Wide Web conference, and he showed our Labyrinth prototype. And then Silicon Graphics got all excited, and they contributed their Open Inventor file format. That was a rich 3D file form, format, much richer than anything Mark and I could whip up in a few weeks. Um, and then big companies got really excited, and big tech companies, IBM, Apple, Netscape, the new giant on the block. And we were off to the races, and, and not just big companies, but academic institutions, individual researchers, uh, cognitive scientists, educators, and uh, even Hollywood. Vermal is going to be the metaverse. It's going to take a while, I think. Uh, five years? But it's going to happen. 